It's time. It's time for what is this? Oh. What happened? And could it happen to me? I hope not. <laughs> We're gonna start with this wild image. Believe it or not, it's someone's scalp. What is this? What happened? And could it happen to me? So this is called male hypogonadism, and this is the thinning and the wrinkling of the skin that comes because this disorder is associated with low testosterone. And there are two forms of it. There's one called primary hypogonadism, which is when the testicles don't actually produce the hormone. And then there's secondary, which is when your pituitary and your hypothalamus, which are the signaling centers in your brain, are not working to tell your gonads to produce that hormone. And it can actually have a slew of issues, this low testosterone, especially in men. In teenagers, we see it as excess sleep, as lethargy, meaning tiredness and also decreased muscle mass. Mm -hmm. In men, it plays out with all of those symptoms, but they also have decreased libido. Just overall, all the things you kind of think about low testosterone, but the skin findings are so interesting because you don't mm. think of it as maintaining and no that hair tone. Growth and this was clearly, no hair this so was clearly no hair someone. Growth in those ridges. In, exactly, exactly right. And even in the pubic areas, like places where it's driven by puberty, you won't have hair growth with this. Gotcha, and I mean, it's a good thing we're talking about four to five million wow. men mm. in the United States alone suffer from low testosterone. And how do you make the diagnosis? Well, you touched on it, Dr. Botter, some of the symptoms that you look for uh, developmentally in men. The hair growth may be one thing, but uh, the size of the gonads, the penis, things like that, overall health can suffer without testosterone for a man. The other thing you do, obviously, you, you get testosterone levels for both younger men and adults to make sure you're, you're in the normal range to, to maintain But I think it's important function. to highlight, Dr. Orden, in this time where so many men are supplementing with testosterone, when they already have fairly normal levels, we're not, hypogonadism, this isn't going to happen if you have just some low testosterone. No, no, yeah. This is a, a, a child who grew up without adequate levels and very, very low levels, and it was never addressed. And the reason I bring that up is because social media is incredibly popular. You know what else is amongst men? Testosterone supplementation, oh, right. and many of them don't need it. So, right. yeah. so I, I, I wanna clarify that a little bit because this is a medical, yeah, this big, is, this is big a time medical hormone deficiency, hormone deficiency that plays out in terms of development. But interestingly, the treatment for this is testosterone. Right. So you would give them in that case medically done supervised. Done, in yes. this case, yeah, testosterone, testosterone, testosterone can, testosterone, can exactly. have so many wonderful benefits. And it's why you need to, as a parent, pay attention to these oh, things. Yeah. Because for if kids, you start it early enough, this won't happen. It's extremely important to, to, to make that diagnosis early because right. developmentally, you need that, that hormone, that testosterone on board. Because if they have this condition, it starts before puberty, yes. right? And yeah, so it'll, what it'll, are we looking for arrest. then as parents? Yeah. If your child is incredibly sluggish and un unmotivated and mm -hmm. they're just tired all the time, don't forget there could be a medical cause. And yeah. if that's the case, first things first, rule out a medical cause, yeah. talk to the pediatrician because you don't want to sit there and say, oh, this is all due to social media and it turns out that your child has low testosterone levels. So that's a nice, a nice reminder.